Hello everyone, thanks for having us speaking at I Annotate 2018 and sorry for not being able to get to San Francisco. My name is Benjamin Piouffle, I'm a French developer and the initiator of the Captain Fact project. Captain Fact is a collaborative video annotation and fact checking tool which has the particularity of being targeted toward the general public and not just journalists and experts. It is composed of a social platform which allow people to discuss, add sources, vote, and thus collaboratively verify specific statements made in a video or in a live video stream. And it also takes the form of a web extension or a simple script that injects the fact-checking results directly on the content where it is watched. So first, you may wonder why the general public we believe that the scale of the misinformation issue requires us to think of audacious solutions and that the only way we can address the enormous amount of data produced today by citizen journalism is by creating a notion of citizen fact-checking. You can think of it as bringing Wikipedia to fact-checking. Now, that doesn't mean journalists are not key of the fact-checking process. But what if they could focus on complex issues, the ones that require investigation? For example, fact-checking numbers about annual growth or unemployment is something almost anyone with a computer and a little bit of critical thinking can do. The positive side effect here is that users are educating themselves. We promote and encourage for online classes about media literacy and fact-checking. And these users are self-organizing are communities where critical thinking is the master concept. Now, how do we ensure that contributions will still meet a certain level of quality? As of today, Captain Fact is still pretty much a social experiment. Yet, results have been extremely encouraging and less than three contributions over more than 1,000 have required moderation. The key for that has been a reputation system where users get rewarded when bringing content that gets upvoted and that unlocks new privileges and more permissive limitations over time. Thought will certainly meet new challenges as we develop. This system has been a great way to encourage quality contributions and to limit the potential impact of trolls and toxic communities. Finally, and this is probably the most important point in the context of this conference, why do we focus on video content? First, because it is inherently difficult to add sources over videos. The hypertext links we are used to when dealing with text-based content on the web doesn't have an equivalent standard when dealing with videos. Yet, videos consumptions have massively grown during the last years, especially with younger generations that often get their information from short clips shared on social networks. Also, videos cannot be easily edited and thus a mistake made in it is often condemned to stay forever. An elegant way to address these issues is by making video annotation possible. I'll end up by saying that our code is open source, so feel free to fork our project or to contact us if you want to learn more about our approach. I wish you all a very good conference and thank you for your time.